Hello, welcome to Clickshare.com. Today I'll talk about partial reload. This is an advanced topic and I'll assume that you have some understanding about ClickView scripting. So let's get started. So I'll divide this topic into two videos, that is two parts. The first part covers more about partial reload and explaining what is partial reload. And then I'll cover add prefix followed by exist function and then only qualifier. And in the second part of the video, I'll cover replace prefix advanced scripting with partial reload. So let's quickly jump into click view and let's understand more about partial reload and let's look at few examples by using partial reload. So before we go ahead and look at an example, let's understand more about partial reload. So what is partial reload? So partial reload can be invoked by selecting the file menu and then using the partial reload option. So you have your file menu and then you have partial reload option here. And the shortcut you can also use is control shift R. Partial reload is executed on the current script, including all script commands, such as drop tables and also drop fields. However, loading tables by using load and select statements must be preceded by add or replace prefix. So we'll talk more about add and uh, replace prefix by some examples. So let's begin our example by using add prefix. So be before we proceed further, let's, let's understand more about add prefix. So we can use the add prefix to any load select and the mapping load statements in the ClickView script. Add prefix works in normal reload and also in partial reload. And no check for duplicate values is performed. Therefore, a statement using the add prefix will normally include distinct qualifier or we should be using the where clause to disregard the duplicate values. So let's quickly jump into edit script and let's look at an example by using uh, partial reload uh, along with the add prefix. So let me press control E and we have script editor window. I'll quickly load a CSV file which contains employee information. Click on table files. So I have two files here. So the first file contains 10 employees and the second file actually contains three to four employees. Not really sure, but we can look at them. So let's click on employee CSV and then let's select embedded labels so that we have the headers and click on finish. So let's reload and I'll quickly add employee key as my list box and then I'll create a table box. Add all three fields and click on OK. So we have uh, 10 employees here. So now let's load the second CSV file. So I'll press Control E again, and then let's select table files and then let's select new employees. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five employees here. And then let's select embedded values again, and then okay. And now let's add the add prefix before our second load statement. So, so what happens now if I reload? So in this sample script, during normal reload, data is loaded from employee CSV, which is what it's going to do. And then it stores the click view table and the data from new employee CSV is then concatenated to the same click view table. So it just stores the employee table here and then it concatenates the data. So let's reload this which is a normal reload and let's click on OK. So I have 13 employees here. And then if I click on show frequency, I have two employees where we have duplicate values, which is fine. So let's press Control T for the table viewer. I'll adjust the window. OK, there we go. So we only see employee table because the employee new employees table is concatenated to the employee table. Okay, so let's go back to script editor again. So now let's go ahead and do a partial reload. 
So click on file. And before we do that, click on OK. And click on file and click on partial reload. So what's happening with partial reload? So during partial reload, data is loaded from the employee CSV and appended to the employee table and no check for du duplicates is performed. That's the reason why we are seeing three instances of nine and 10 employees and then two instances of 11, 12 and 13 employees. So let's go back to script editor and let's say that we wanted to perform check for duplicates. We wanted to identify the duplicates. So to do this, we need to add where clause with the access function. So where not access, oops. and then I'll say employee key. So we can use the exist function, which is an inter record function. The behavior of the script will be same as previous example, except one additional step of eliminating the duplicates by using the exist functions. So let's click on save. So before we go ahead and uh, run the script, there's a typo here. So I'll adjust the spelling, okay, which is doubly. And let me just comment this so that we'll go back to our regular load and reload it. Okay. And let's go back and uncomment this. Okay. Now if I go ahead and click on OK. So now let's go ahead and do the partial reload. Okay. So now we see employee 9 and 10, although the new employees dot csv file contains employee 9 and 10 it is appending it but we have performed a check for duplicates so what's happening here is let me go back to script editor it checks where exist within this field if it's already existing then it is not going to load that particular rows so this is quite useful and we can take this a step forward as well so let's say that we only wanted to load the partial reload script when we perform the partial reload and we don't want to load it in all the cases so what what i mean by this is let's let me just go ahead and remove everything so that you have full understanding let me click on reload so we don't have any information now so let's go back i'll paste the script again and if i go ahead and reload the document you will see that my regular reload is also executing the script, which is part of partial reload. So if I go back and add the only clause here now, and now if I click on reload, now you see the difference. So you will not see the employees 11, 12, and 13 because we've added the only qualifier. If we are adding and if we are performing partial reload, you will see those employees. So let me click on file and click on partial reload. So now we will see 11, 12 and 13. So it depends upon what kind of situation you are in. You can use the only qualifier. And I personally prefer to use the only qualifier. Separate the partial reload from your regular reload. I hope this was helpful. I would also strongly recommend you to look for part two for full understanding on partial reload, which includes the replace prefix. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Thank you.